every man desires a conducive environment because it brings about social economic development. Every man wants development because it brings about more opportunities for a better life. For members of Okota residents in Ago Okota Community Development Association, their collective goal is to positively influence and complement the efforts of the Lagos State Government. Established in December 1989, the association consists of 15 major streets which stretches from Ago Palace Way in the south, Okiafa Jakonde in the north, and a link to the popular Paku bus stop, all in the Solo Local Council Development Area of Lagos State. Bayo Oyewale Street is the longest road within the community and the most used. Before now, residents of the area spent over 30 minutes to drive through and more than 40 minutes to walk through the road. Being a resident, I've been, I've been here for over 10 years. 10 years ago, if you give anybody 1 million naira to come and live on this, uh, this uh, community, the person, will, the person will, will, will never agree with your 1 million naira. It was in a very, very, you know, very terrible state. This, this is a road that can take you about uh, five, three minutes to get to the junction. But those years, it's going to take you over 30 minutes for you to be able to get to the junction. And it, and it, 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 it was in a very terrible, sorry state. You know, so that, I think that one of the things that motivated the residents to take the bull by their horn and try to see what they do to elevate the sufferings about the road. This road was just in usual road on third. It has never been third. Okay, that's how we met it when we were settling. We settled individually. In actual fact, this road was not linking the express before. We, the landlord, influenced it. The road terminated from that place before. Even the money wanted to sell it. We fought tooth and nail and made sure it links the express by communal efforts. We succeeded in doing that. Since then, through our combined, we've been rehabilitating on, to make it possible for the residents. On yearly, over the years, and on a yearly basis, we'll be spending close to two million by spreading asphalt. There was a time when they were constructing an express road. We went there to remove asphalt. We did it, it rolled it, but yet this is the same thing. We decided that we should give a, a, a go ahead that is change our style of uh, rehabilitation. We now thought of this uh, interlocking. Still, communal efforts. Measuring up to 1,200 meters, Bayo Oyewale Street has more than 15 link roads. With about 25 million naira spent so far on the first phase of the project, executive members of the association want corporate organizations and wealthy individuals to support the cause. I think we've been around here for some 30 years now. We have the privilege of being the first uh, group of people you know, to occupy this area. And since we came in here, People, you know, through the community efforts, we have done a lot to improve, you know, the standard of living in this area. Security, the road, the community have been exceedingly very wonderful. This road, this Bayoiwali road, and we have Taiwo too, we spent lots and lots of money each year. We tried to rehabilitate the road, spend thousands of naira, but all these were palliatives. Once you have one or two rings, all the efforts, you know, the things are washed away. Instead of uh, using laterites every year that the water and rain is uh, washing them away, we call them back on interlocking in a little way we can. From there, we started this uh, little uh, effort we are able to do. And the road is uh, long in a way. It covers uh, 1,200 uh, meters. Look at the ones we've done. It's going to take you like a second to drive to the main road. And everybody was happy. The, at rain, you can walk comfortably on the road and you, your, your cars can drive comfortably on the only areas we've done so far. We graduated the projects. That is, it was in phases. We've just completed the first phase now, which has got about 25 million. The total uh, you know, project is estimated at about 70 million. So what we are trying to do is we've made uh, ministry to government, we've made visiting to government. All the letters we sent there was acknowledged and they were, they were very pleased with us that we, we, we can able to go this far. We want the government now to please 
come to our aid, either to complement the remaining one hour effort by either taking over the remaining uh, uh, project. Other major projects done include water projects and electricity. All these are due to the encouragement gotten from the state government in empowering the CDAs and the CDCs. As we wrap up today's episode of Lagos Community Update, remember your contribution to make your community a better one lies solely in your hands. So why not join your hands and make it happen? And with that, we've come to the end of today's episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adeja Keshede in the Adenyaju. You can join our social media platform on Facebook, Lagos Community Updates, on Twitter at Lagos Community Updates, and on YouTube, Lagos Community Updates. Whatever you do, wherever you are, never work against your community because your community is yours.